and I wish more than anything in the world that I could have been there to hold his hand and tell him that it would all be okay. But I couldn't do that. I never would have ever imagined that the country in which my parents immigrated to for safety and for a successful future for their children would result in this. My dad added value to this nation. He made a choice here. A conscious, stupid, irresponsible, cold-blooded, selfish, disgusting, heinous, evil choice. I want to smell his garden sauce cooking. His cologne. The way he walked down the hallway with purpose and a spring in his step. His deep belly laugh. I want to hear him tell me more about the olive trees in Palestine. I want to hear his voice. I want to hear my dad's voice. My Baba's voice. The sighting of my father's body at Lamb and Hayward and physically seeing some of the impact of the attack on him. I'd never really truly known what the meaning of a broken heart was until then. We have been shaken to our core and our hearts cracked in a million pockets and places. But slowly and surely, we are reassembling each crack with a thread of gold. Becoming whole again, beginning again, stronger and more beautiful and united than ever before. The gold is the love, the aroha, the New Zealand community, the friends and the neighbours, the flower wall, the government. The new desire of the wider community to know more about us more about our foundations of peace and of love. The pride in our religion, our community, our people. My students, who now greet me with, Salaamu Alaikum, Miss Q. I urge you to take a look around this courtroom and ask yourself, who exactly is the other here right now? Is it us? Or is it you? I think the answer is pretty clear.